Oh, please, your, your breath stink. Get out! Take your smelly, sticking breath out of my house! Now! Get out! Don't you dare! If, if, if you raise your hand one more time at me, Who? Anita, of course. You, you went to see her, right? Oh. I'm asking to know how she's faring. Did you take her to the hospital? No, I, I didn't take her to the hospital. I, I just took care of her all night. She's just running temperature. And she's better now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, um, babe, I, I hope you asked her not to come to work this morning. Oh. Why? Eh, because you just said it yourself that she ran temperature all through the night. Shouldn't she take some rest? Eh, I mean, maybe go to the hospital to check herself. Unless, of course, there's something you want her to do for you in the office this morning. Well, I... I didn't tell her not to come to the office, but... I'm sure she knows she shouldn't come to the office. No, she might not know. You know, you're her boss and you took care of her all through the night. Mm -hmm. And she knows you'll be going to work. She might just be obligated to, you know, want to come. So I suggest you call her and tell her that it's fine. Let her rest. She shouldn't bother coming today. Uh -huh. mm. I'm sure you would want to have some rest mm -hmm. before going back to work. Well, I'm actually really tired, so I'd have loved to have some rest, but I have a meeting this morning, so I need to just, what I'll do is get maybe an hour sleep and then prepare and go to work. Yes, you look very exhausted. Please, yeah, yeah. I'll join Clara in the kitchen, so we'll prepare something for you. Ah, thank mm? you. As soon as you wake up and freshen up, you eat before going to work. Mm? That's okay, thank you. Mm. Welcome back. Thank you. Maybe sleep now. I will sleep. I will sleep. You've had a long night's sleep. It's okay. Thank you. I will sleep. Clara. Women. Was she not the same person that refused me to leave last night? Literally holding me down. Wow. Very wonderful set of people. Strange. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful morning to you, Miss Anita. A beautiful morning to you too, but how did you... <laughs> don't sweat it. You're not feeling well, so I don't want you to, you know, try stressing your brain. My husband told me where you live. Oh, I see. So how are you feeling now? You look rather strong for someone who was awake all night. You're even dressed for work. Shouldn't you be resting by now? Well, actually, I... Uh... Anyway, ma'am, it's fine. Never mind. He said you shouldn't bother coming to work today. But I want to work. Why? The owner of the work said he doesn't want you to work. Why are you insistent on working? Oh, perhaps you can't seem to stay away from him. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. What do you mean? You tell me. I find it quite interesting that a young, beautiful girl like you, who have worked in this town for quite a while, does not have one friend. A friend you can call whenever you are in need. You have to always call your boss. Who happens to be a married man? Why? Even when you were in an abusive relationship, you weren't calling him as often. All of a sudden, your need has increased and you have to always call my husband. 
And what are you driving at? You damn well know what I am driving at. But my question is, why is it difficult for a beautiful girl like you to find a man of her own? You're doing everything, every desperate thing to get another woman's man, a married man. You think less of yourself. Madam, watch your tongue. Or what? Are you going to beat me up? <laughs> no dates! You will do no such thing because you are a struggling young girl. You can't even find a man to keep. You want to fight me. I laugh at you. You are shamefully going after a man. A man I have had the better years of my life sleeping with. Why are you so desperate to have a test of my remains? Why? Madam, I do not know why you are here. I do not know what you are talking about. But please get the hell out of my house this minute. Why does it feel like I'm hitting the nail on the head? I have nothing to do with your husband. I have nothing to do with your husband. <laughs> Even you are not convinced of this lie. Of course you're after my husband. Why would I be here? You are after my husband. But it's fine. Because I know your type. It's only classless and worthless girls like you that go after married men. Another man's property. That is criminal. Get out of my house. Of course I will leave. Get out. Well, first, I thought it was wise to let you know that you don't need to go to work today because you're not feeling well. And secondly, I brought you food. Real homemade food. Get Perhaps out. Perhaps that will help calm your nerves. Get out! And remind you that the man you're lusting after belongs to another. Oh, please, your, your breath stink. Get out! Take your smelly, sticky breath out of my house! Now! Get out! Don't you dare! <laughs> If you raise your hand one more time at me. So, so how are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, I hope you had a very good night rest. I can't complain, sir. You can't complain. What is wrong? Like I said before, I'm fine. I can't complain. Who am I? I'm sorry, no offense. I'm fine. If there's a problem, you know you can talk to me, right? Like I said before, sir, I can't complain. I'm fine, sir. Are you worried that I didn't sleep at home last night? <laughs> worried? Why should I be worried? I'm fine, sir. If... If I share my body with you, and you share your body with me, then that gives you the right to okay? I mean, we've slept together already. So if you want to ask me any question, go ahead. If your wife didn't ask you, who am I to ask you? And how do you know that my wife did not ask me? Because uh, she took food to Anita this morning. She took food to Anita? I, I don't understand. Why would she do that? You and I know that the relationship we share is beyond boss and maid. I don't know how to put this, but you hold a special place in my heart, okay? So tell me, are you jealous? Huh? Jealous? Jealous about what? What's there to be jealous about? I'm not jealous. Come on, you are a human being. Jealous of Anita. Do I have that right? Well, you do have the right, okay? But if it's for Anita, there is nothing there. She's just someone who needs help. And I'm giving her that help. And that's it. She doesn't have any feelings for me, and I definitely don't have any feelings for her. Well, you do not owe me anything. So, whether or not I'm jealous, it's my business. So, and you are not under any pressure. 
Come on. So here's the thing. I wasn't raised to disrespect a woman or her feelings. Neither was I raised to insult a woman. Okay? So what you and I are doing, we agree to do it. What we share is special and unique. But I want to tell you one thing. For as long as we are doing this, I will not have anything with any other woman. The only woman I will touch is my wife. It's a promise. Do I hold this much important? For your heart? More than you know. You do. I'm sorry. It's okay. the bathroom. I hope he hasn't gone to see that Anita girl. But his phone, his phone is here. Honey? 